All right, next up, I needed to make a custom-made router table. Uh, that was one of the things I was missing in the last shop to this shop, is I didn't have a space to do a lot of routing. So I found a piece of wood that I had for shelving that would fit a neck passing through one side to the other side completely. And so I mark the center of the table here. And then I usually stack this router on top of the other router when I need to do sort of quick things. And so I mark it and make sure that this fits because I can cut off a little bit of the sides to trim it slightly. So then I'll take the base here, pull the screws out, and mount it to the center. And this is what's great about a router table is you don't really need to spend a ton of money. A lot of guys give me grief that I've got incredible amount of tools and uh, money invested in my shop but this is just a router a piece of wood and a couple two by fours and you've got a decent router table uh, with a pattern bit to do a lot of guitar work so here I'll mark the holes get a drill bit that's tapered with a countersink so I can sink those screws in. I'll drill the first two holes. And then we'll go ahead and drill the center. And I use about an inch and a half bit to drill the center. And I'll drill those first two holes. And then I'll go back and match that third up. Pound in those screws, make sure they fit about right. See it all fits. Test fit the first time here. See how it's going. Screws need to be sunk in a little more so I've got a hand countersink. Just go ahead and push those down, get those screws to sit flat. I'll go ahead and test this out, see if it fits. It's a big piece of wood, so it's a little bit harder to, to get this set. So we'll drill down, screw down these screws. I got two of the screws to sit right. And that third one, I have to come back, it's off by like about a sixteenth, so I'll just widen that hole slightly. Loosen the screw, move it over slightly, and then now that screw fits. Base is on, the router bit moves freely. There it is on the back side. Now what we'll do is take a 2x4 and support the back side. So we'll just cut this in half. These shark saws are incredibly fast and awesome. And then I got a hand plane to actually straighten out the boards. They had a little bow in them. And so what I do is just take off the ends of each board here. Make sure I'm not when I screw this down that I'm not getting any pulling or warping on the board so I've got a nice flat surface when I'm routing. So that looks about flat. Check this piece of wood and I got a plane down each side. And This was just a, a, a cheap plane at Ace. I think I spent $20 on this on sale or something like that. So I'm building this without even a joiner, guys. And I'll put this on my table, make sure it's flat. Again, we'll countersink this in. I've got four screws per side. And I don't tighten the screws to the end here, but I'll sink them all down, get it all lined up.
get this all set up, tighten them all up, pop the router in, put a couple legs. I put foldable legs in here, so I caught that little notch. The legs will fold down. I may put a cross brace on here, but for the most part, I've got that extra table that I can just lit, lay this on. I've got the switch right here, and there's the bit. Real quick and easy, real easy way to do a router table so you can use your pattern router bits. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next vid.